date and time with python let's talk about date and time with python we learn to get the time attributes of time and learn about calendars talking about date and time there are some terms you should know the epoch is the point in time from which time is measured this is the epoch the beginning of an era ticks are floating point numbers in seconds ticks denote a time interval and are calculated from the epoch daylight savings time in the agrarian culture the clocks are said to be one hour faster so they get an extra hour after work since they get up an hour before the actual sunrise time is represented by nine values this is the time tuple it's made of year month day hour minute second day of week day of year and the dst let's learn to get the time this is the number of ticks from the epoch and this is the local time as a tuple we can make it a bit more readable and we can also pass the local time to this function here but we cannot feed it the result of time dot time clock gives us the number of seconds since the first call made to it this is as a floating point number gm time converts the current time into utc time and returns this and make time returns the amount of ticks for seconds from a time tuple sleep holds everything for the given amount of seconds strf time lets us format the date and time and strp time parses a formatted string of date and time these are the directors strf time takes the time module has some attributes alt zone returns the local dst time zones offset with positive values for locations west of utc and negative values otherwise time zone is like alt zone without dst and tz name gives us the name of the local time zone with and without dst python also lets us deal with calendars this is the calendar for the month of december of 2019 and this is it printed nicely We'll discuss date and time at length in a while. Until then, keep learning.